Louisiana Beer Review Seagram's Escapes Cocktails Lemon Collins. Introduced in 2022. Um, it says flavored beer. That's the legal disclosure. And then the description it says malt beverage with natural flavors and contains FDNC food, drug, and cosmetic yellow number five. So it has yellow number five food coloring, which has to be disclosed because some people are allergic to it. Um, this is a new thing uh, produced in New York, at Rochester, New York, by the Seagram Beverage Company, part of Fifeco USA, Florida Ice and Farm Company, United States of America, but their headquarters in Costa Rica. But anyway, they also own Genesee, this, um, and a number of brands, if you look at their website, Pyramid, I think. Okay, uh, this code. I think it's J. A. Letter A. I think that's the letter A. a letter A. January 11, 2022. I really don't know. At 12.43 in the afternoon. Okay, but anyway, uh. This just showed up a week ago at Matherns. It was $17.99 a 12 pack. You can decide if that's a good deal. Three cans, four different flavors. Uh, they're trying to mimic cocktails. A lemon Collins. I never had a regular Collins, a Tom Collins, or a, anything like that. <clears throat> I looked at other stores around here Walmart, Total Wine, and more. and some others, nobody has it. So I don't know why that particular store got it, but I figured I'd check it out. There's only seven check-ins on Untapped. Seven. And this is the first video review for this product in the world at the time of the recording. Now it might just all of a sudden show up everywhere. <clears throat> it is a better deal because you get 12 ounce cans. If you get the uh, Seagram's Escapes the normal line, you'll notice that they are 11.2 ounce bottles. Not a good deal, but at the same price, typically. Furthermore, those are 3.2% alcohol. This is five, this is a new thing. Um, then, um, see what else? There's the Seagram's Escape Spiked. Those are 8%. That's the super strong, and those come in at 23 and a half ounce cans. Still a better deal than the 11.2 ounce bottle. But anyway, here's the tall glass. It's hazy. It's gray. Now, I guess there is a slight yellow tint to it, depending on how I'm moving it around but there isn't really and uh, there's no head of foam there's some popping bubbles popping bubbles uh, so we know they're using barley malt because it's a malt beverage uh, some of these beers these seltzer beers they can be made with corn uh, um, well yes corn but cane sugar which is a substitute for malt an allowable substitute uh, if it's a malt beverage, it must contain hops. No. You know as well as I do, this is not going to be a hoppy beer. It's going to be a sweet cocktail type thing. And that's what is the big thing right now. These cocktail, these pre-mixed beer-based and sometimes liquor-based cocktails. The seltzer market has been in decline for over a year. It was exploding in 2018. And everybody was making seltzers. And I say, watch. Even a beta brewing made, I say, watch, it's going to start to decline because it's flooded. And of course it did. Anyway, let's check it out. At 100 calories, I got a bad feeling about this. And my bad feeling is that they're using a sugar substitute like sucre sucralose they came out with the, the bud light 
cocktail things with the, um, I got two of them, <laughs> with that uh, sucralose uh, Splenda, it, they were bad, bad, but then I don't like diet. Other people say, I like diet drinks, it, it tastes great to me. I said, okay, it's a personal preference issue. I had to admit it wasn't a quality control issue. It was fine in that sense. Okay, but I just got a bad feeling for me because I bought a 12 pack. I'm gonna have to drink 11 more of these things with their flavor of sucralose. There's some faint lemon. It's a medium body. It's a dry finish. It's got to be. It's got to be. I don't know though, because the Budweiser said the Bud Light had a, a statement about that. Natural flavors. The only qualification, you know, that, that they got to state is yellow number five. Yellow number five. Premium flavor. Okay. Um, see, I don't think the sucralose would be considered a natural flavor. It's an artificial flavor because it's fake sugar. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a sugar substitute. And that Bud Light thing clearly stated that on the label. Yeah, I guess it's sugar. Could be corn syrup. Could be high fructose corn syrup, which. I think is considered a natural flavor. Because <laughs> you know, sometimes you'd be out in the woods, you see some high fructose corn syrup bushes. Um, <sighs> All right. There's lemon. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like something that I never, well, I never drank these things, so I don't know what I'm talking about. I never drink flavored beers unless I'm doing a video. Or I gotta, I gotta buy a 12 pack because of the availability issue. But, um, but you know what it tastes like? It tastes like lemon flavor aid. You know, you buy the, powder, the packet of powder and you put it in there with sugar and um, water. We always use tap water. Water, um. No alcohol, you could get this to somebody, they wouldn't think it was an alcoholic drink. My complaint with Seagram's Escape was they, they were too weak. 3.2, they didn't hold together too well. But they're all right. The Seagram's Escape spiked their dynamite. They really hold together well. They got body, character, savoir faire. <laughs> um, sometimes artificial coloring. <laughs> but um, this has none of that. It has... It has a... A, a, a very heavy tap water flavor. I'm not against tap water. I drink tap water, okay? I don't buy a bottle of water. Um, I don't pay $17.99 for 12, 12 ounce containers of tap water that I can assure you. Um, there's a, it's like a muted cocktail flavor. Like, you know, we complain about these drinks, like they're too sweet, they're too sweet. This one is like, to dial back, there's like a there's not enough flavor. Uh, I don't know where they're going with this. Um, there is like a a blandness to it, and that's what I say. Like the packet, you put the Weilers and you didn't mix it right. You know, like you had too much water and it's watered down. And I've said that with other beers. So. I didn't say Kool-Aid, I said Weilers, like, you know, somebody, they wanted to save money, so they got an even cheaper product. 
Oh no, I said flavor aid. Wireless. Yeah, they really wanted to get cheap. They got wireless. <laughs> um, and I think wireless and flavor aid is actually made by the same company now. Yeah, that's right. I think they're in Illinois. But anyway, um, one more sip, I'm gonna give it a score. And I gotta save some for a photo. I could take a photo, I got two more cans. Oh no. <laughs> and it's not a good flavor, it's watered down. It's just blah. I hope the other three have some character. This one is just, just not working at all. <sighs> Sorry, Seagram's Escapes, the Seagram's Beverage Company, in other words, Florida Ice and Forum Company, USA. This is a failure, and I can't believe it. Um, I thought it was going to have a lot of, a lot of action. I'm going to give it a C minus, like a 71. Yeah, 7.1 out of 10, a C minus. It's like <clears throat> kind of average, but you could make the argument that it's just plain bad, like into the D category. I'm not going to go into the D. I'm tempted. But anyway, so uh, 7.1 out of 10. Uh, I, I'm sorry for the long video. I just can't figure it out. It's I'm really aggravated because I paid $17.99 for the 12 bag. That's the main reason for the for the uh, discombobulation. So anyway, oh well, heck. Y'all go to Rochester, New York, and tour the Genesee Brewery, and you'll see a little showcase brewery, and you'll never see them making any of these products, or the ice Genesee ice and all that. That would be the fun part of the tour, really, instead of a little showcase brewery. But anyway, all right, all right, enough. Stop. Just cool it. Thanks for watching this video production.